right, we are recording. Welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Kat, also known as Katrina Nicole on all social platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and here on YouTube. And today, it's hard to believe that we are already to the end of the year. So I decided let's do a video that's all about my top 22 favorite things of 2022. So we've got five categories that we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about beauty, fashion, fitness, home, and books. I read a lot of books this year, which was one of my goals for the year in particular. I'm pretty sure I read and listened to about 25 books this year. So I have a few that I want to share with you all. And I want to share my favorite skincare and just all of the good things that I purchased and acquired this year. So let's get into it. All right, let's start with one of my personal favorites, which is beauty. So this year in particular, I've been kind of obsessed with skincare tools and I really, really love anything that's anti-aging, anything that makes me feel like I look like a glazed donut. That is my vibe. So the very first thing that I want to talk to you all about is this mask. <laughs> this is Dr. Dennis Gross's LED face mask. This thing. <laughs> It is what dreams are made of. It's very much so an investment piece. I believe it runs around $500, $550. I bought it during the Sephora sale, so I got it for 20% off. But what I love about this in particular is that it both helps to reduce wrinkles and it also helps to reduce acne scars. I use this every single night religiously. It has a three minute setting and I just put it on right after I've washed my face and it's been a total game changer in just making my skin feel youthful and look more vibrant and radiant. I love this. I've been using it for about two months now and I cannot recommend it enough. So good. Number one beauty purchase of the year. Moving on, we are gonna talk about Glossier. So Glossier is a new to me brand that I've used, but it's not new to me in that I've seen their marketing and their branding for many, many years. I was recently in Philly and they actually have a brick and mortar there, which is why I ended up making a bunch of purchases because I was able to try everything in real life. Glossier does not have products at Sephora or Ulta. They really only offer products through their own brand. And this is one of those things that I knew that I wanted because I had tried a friends out previously, but I wasn't sure what color was gonna work best for me. I really, really love this. It feels like a lip balm, but it looks like a lip gloss. It's very pigmented. This is the color which you can see is this really pretty kind of corally pink color. It's in the color called Portrait. I really, really love how this looks on my lips. I feel like it's so ultra hydrating, which is perfect for winter. And because I live in such an ultra dry climate, I love this. I cannot recommend it enough. So if you have not tried Glossier yet, definitely pick up the hydrating lip balm, lipstick, whatever it's called. I'll make sure I link it below in the description box for you all. Okay, moving on to number three, which is a fragrance. I love Ellis Brooklyn. I own several fragrances from the brand and um, I have been a huge fan of a lot of different fragrances that they offer. And this is one of the newest ones that they came out with this year and it's called Sunfruit. It smells so incredible. I don't have perfume on right now, so let's put it on so I can give you all a real time. Oh my gosh, it's so tropical, it's fruity, it's a little bit pineapple-y, also slightly sun fruity. It just feels like sunshine and happiness in a bottle. I absolutely love Brooklyn and Ellis because they are a clean fragrance company and their products last and smell so incredible on your skin. I have used, like I said, many of their different fragrances, but this one, is my personal favorite right now. Okay, if you know me well, you know I am a freak about teeth. In fact, the, <laughs> no, this is probably TMI, but on my Hinge profile, which yes, I am still single as a Pringle, but anyways, on my Hinge profile, I talk about how if you do not have good hygiene or good teeth, you are not for me. I literally, it's the weird thing that I'm attracted to, which is teeth. So it makes sense for me to talk about toothpaste. My absolute favorite toothpaste, which has been my favorite for several years, is this bad boy. This is David's toothpaste. 
I absolutely love this brand. Again, this is a clean brand in particular, and I think it's so important to think about clean beauty brands when it comes to deodorant and toothpaste in particular, because that's something that you are actually ingesting or that's going into your pores so much deeper than a lot of other products. Um, but I've tried every single flavor of David's. I love them all. They're all so good. They keep your teeth nice and clean and white, and I love the aesthetic of the packaging, so. If you're in the market for toothpaste, you gotta get David's. Last but not least is one of my favorite body butters, which is from OC. And this is their algae body butter. It is so luxurious. It's probably one of the most soft and luscious feeling body butters I have ever used. This is actually my second jar of the year. And as you can tell, I have already gone through quite a bit. I love this body butter so much. It's just so incredible. It makes your skin feel so moisturized. And especially because I live in what I feel like is one of the most dry climates ever, which is Colorado. It just helps for my skin to still feel moisturized even when there's like zero humidity in the air, which if you know, humidity is what makes you look glowy and it makes you look like a glazed donut. It also makes your hair more frizzy. This body butter is 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend. It's the best. It's my absolute favorite of any body butter or lotion that I've ever used and I love it so, so much. Moving on to fashion, coming in at number six is one of my favorite brands that was new to me this year, which is called Meow. Their clothing is just so incredibly well made. I really, really love the patterns and the designs. They go up to a size three or four X on their website, which I think is amazing. And what's so cool about them is that all of the pieces that they create are so on trend. I would say that they're probably one of the most trend forward brands that I found that sells plus size clothes. Clothing. and my favorite piece that I purchased from them this year was this gorgeous dress. I wore this to so many events this year. It's super easy to style for the summer and surprisingly very easy to style for winter and fall as well. I love it. Every single time I wear it, I get so many compliments and I just think that the quality of it is so incredible. And it's definitely going to be a piece that I will wear into 2023 as well. This was probably my most worn dress of the year and I loved it. It was just so fun and definitely different than what I typically wear because I tend to be very much so a neutral babe, but this, this was a winner for me. Okay, moving on to number seven, which is what I'm actually wearing right now. And these are Adidas track style pants. I love these so much. I've really been into like this tomboy style aesthetic and it totally fits that like vibe for me right now. They're so comfortable. They're really easy to dress up, to dress down. And they also are very nostalgic for my elementary and middle school years because this specific style was very, very popular at that time in my life. So it just makes me feel youthful and I love them so much. They're very comfortable. I'm wearing them in a 3X. I do believe they go up to a 4X and I can't recommend them enough. And I think right now they're actually on sale and they're like under $40, which I think is a great price if you're looking to add a fun pair of lounge wear slash tomboy style pants to your closet. In total fairness, I have not found a pair of jeans that I liked this year. This is a pair of jeans that I bought last year, but they're still in stock and they are still very, very popular this year as well. And these are Good Americans, Good 90s jeans. They're so comfortable. They're that perfect oversized fit. They definitely feel like the 90s. They've got rips in the knees and they're just perfection. I love them so much. I have been wearing them <laughs> all year. I wore them all last year as well. I will be wearing them next year also. I would say these are probably my favorite jeans of all time for the past three years um, or two years at least. And I just really, really love them. They're super comfortable. They do not have any stretch in them at all. So I definitely recommend if you're thinking about buying a pair of Good American Good 90s jeans that you size up, especially if you want a baggier style fit uh, or you you just know that you wear a smaller size in jeans that have stretch in them because these have zero stretch. They're so, so comfortable. I have worn them all across the country. I have packed them for international travel. I just, I really, really love them so much. I love the aesthetic. I love the vibe. I love how they look with heels. I love how they look with boots and yeah, they're perfection. So these were my favorite jeans of both 2021 and of this year, 2022. 
My most worn bag of the season is this gorgeous Prada bag. That is the Triangle Prada bag. Again, it very much so has like that tomboy athleisure style feel to it. I love that you can wear it as a crossbody. All of these are detachable as well. So if you just wanted to wear just the triangle part on its own, you totally could. This is big enough to fit sunglasses, which is what I have in here right now. I have some hand sanitizer in here, credit cards, scrunchies, all kinds of things. It actually fits quite a bit, which is surprising. And I really, really love the aesthetic of it. It goes so well with what my vibe is. I bought this when I was in Aspen for a work trip and it was kind of a treat myself moment because that work trip was the first ever brand trip that I've done as an influencer and I loved this. And so this has definitely been one of my most worn pieces this year. I just love it so, so much. And I've actually bought a lot of designer pieces this year and several designer bags, but this one comes in at number one for me. I absolutely love it. I would say it's a tie between Prada and Gucci as to which one is my favorite designer brand but I really, really loved the aesthetic and the vibe, so. Speaking of Prada, I really, really wanted a pair of Prada's combat boots, and when I was in Aspen, I tried them on, but unfortunately, they did not fit me at all because they are very, very narrow, and I have not fully technically wide feet, but I do have a wider foot than what a normal size foot is, and so because I could not find a pair of Prada boots that worked for me, I ended up landing on these bad boys, which are from Gani and Gani is also one of my favorite designer brands as well. I love them because they also offer inclusive sizing. I have several pieces from them um, in clothing as well that I purchased last year and this year, but coming in at number one for boots and just overall aesthetic for what my vibe was this year were these ultra cute, chunky lug sole boots. They are on the heavier side, um, but I did recently wear them to the airport for, I don't know, eight or 10 hours and I was totally fine. I do think they're comfortable enough to be able to wear all day and they definitely have great traction on the foot of the shoe as well. So if you're a person that lives in an icier wintry climate, these would definitely be a great option for you as a winter boot. While we are on the topic of winter attire, I wanted to talk about my favorite jacket of the year, which is from Avec La Fee. It's this really gorgeous brown puffer coat. And Avec La Fee is absolutely my favorite brand when it comes to winter and winter wear and jackets in particular. I think I own probably four or five jackets from this brand and I really, really love them. They are a brand that's based out of LA and Avec La Fee he stands for with the girls in French. I've actually done full hauls on my YouTube channel as well of different jackets that I've purchased from them, but this is my most recent and it's just so comfy, it's so cozy. And if you know me well, you know that I love anything that is cropped, which this is like the perfect cropped jacket for me and my torso and where I like things to fall and fit. It's warm, it's cozy, it has this really pretty metallic lining that I just think keeps you even extra warm and I just, I love everything about this jacket. It's so cozy, it's so comfortable, and it's perfect for winter and perfect if you live in a colder climate. And last on the clothing front is this top that I got from Gucci. I really love it. It's more of an athletic style top. It feels like athleisure or athletic wear, but I love the neon color. I love the Gucci logo and like the pink lining that just contrasts it so well. It fits me incredibly well. It's the perfect cropped top for me, and I really have loved wearing this and styling this. I've worn it with denim on denim looks underneath. I have worn it with sweatpants, and I just think it's perfect for my style and my closet. It's very, very lightweight, super easy to pack, and I love the vibrant color. So look at how compact this is like. That's like zero space in your suitcase. So I love this so much. And it was definitely one of those things that when I saw it in store, I was like, I need that. And I totally fell in love with it. If you did not know, Gucci does go up to a 2X. This, however, is in a size large. And it fits me 
very well and I love how it looks on. Okay, moving on to one of my favorite categories, which is fitness. And there are three things in this category that I wanna talk about. First and foremost is one of the things I'm wearing right now. This right here is called the Aura Ring and it is a fitness tracker. It tracks your sleep, it tracks your steps, your workouts and your overall health and well-being. There's an app on your phone that you can use as well that just shows you everything that you're doing throughout the day. It gives you a score on how well you slept the day before and it also also gives you a score on like your overall day-to-day -day activity and things along those lines. I have loved this ring so, so much. I think it's been such a game changer for me and my health and my wellness goals. And I love that I get to see like if there are any patterns or sleep patterns or things that I need to improve upon. It also syncs with, I think it's called Cycles is the name of the company that is a natural way to track your cycle. So because it does take your temperature every single day, it actually tells you when you are ovulating and all of those things as well. So if you're a person who is trying to get pregnant or if you're trying to prevent it, it also gives you that information as well. I have loved this piece in particular. I actually got it covered by my insurance, which I was very excited about because it is most definitely an investment piece as well. I believe it runs for around $500, but I have loved, loved, loved it. It might be one of my top like five favorite purchases of the year, just because I think it's so aesthetically pleasing and it does all of the things that uh, like a fitness tracker would do. I'm not a big Apple Watch person. I didn't like the Fitbit. I've tried Jawbone. I've had a lot of different fitness trackers over the years, but this one is by far my favorite. And I just love that it's so aesthetically pleasing as well. And that it doesn't even look like a fitness tracker. And what's cool about it. So if you are a person who wants to be told, hey, it's time to get up and stretch your legs. The app on your phone will actually tell you all of those things too. So if you have your phone on you, Aura will tell you, hey, it's time to stretch your legs. Why don't you get up, move your body, that sort of thing. And then it also gives you a daily movement and or activity goal as well. So I can't recommend it enough. I love it. It's a 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend Peace for me. And yeah, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> trying to decide one brand to recommend for you all that's in the athletic category is so incredibly hard for me. My top brands that I shop at are Beyond Yoga, Athleta, I love Nike pieces as well. Like I am a huge athletic wear like fanatic and the newest one to me is actually from Abercrombie which is why I decided to share it in particular because it was so incredibly surprising that the quality of this was amazing. I love this vibrant red color and it is perfection. The leggings don't roll down, they stay up really well, they have really pretty detailing on it, the fabric is super high quality. Like I cannot tell you all how amazing this brand is. It's just so, so good. Like Abercrombie has totally become one of my favorite brands of the year and it's so funny because obviously they were not an inclusive brand growing up. They caused a lot of trauma for me probably as a middle schooler and high schooler, let's be real, because they were so exclusive and they had one specific style and aesthetic that they were, you know, curating their brand to for consumers to purchase pieces from. But this it's just so good. It's so good. Yeah, check them out if you are looking to try a new brand of athletic wear. Last but certainly not least in the athletic wear category are sneakers. And to be honest, I'm a little embarrassed to show these all to you, but it just goes to show that I have worn these a ton. They are well loved and they are my favorite sneakers this year. And they are from... <laughs> Hoka. They are the most comfortable sneaker I have ever worn. They feel like you're walking on clouds. They come in a ton of different colors and patterns and they are seriously so, so comfortable. But I think I got these in March of this year. So it's been about, I don't know, what is that? Eight or nine months that I've had these and they are seriously my most worn sneakers. They are my most loved sneakers, probably of all time. I don't think I've ever had a pair of sneakers that I've gotten this dirty, but I really like them and I love how comfortable they are to walk in. So if you are looking for a pair of running sneakers or outdoor sneakers in particular, you got to check out Hoka because they are such an incredible brand and it's so, so 
comfortable. Okay, moving on to home products. I would say that the home category is most definitely the category that I have spent the most money in this year. I bought a new refrigerator, I bought a new dishwasher, I bought several outdoor furniture pieces, and I think because I've just recently bought this house in the last year, I spent a lot of money improving my home and making sure that I'm finding pieces that feel right for my space, and so, <laughs> Yeah, it's been a very expensive category for me this year, but I have to say I'm so happy with the purchases that I've made. I have no regrets on all of the things that I have, you know, added to my home. And I've been very intentional about making sure that these pieces are exactly what I want and that they make sense for my aesthetic and for the longevity of, you know, just making sure I'm buying quality pieces that are gonna last for a long time. So we are going to talk about some pieces that are not necessarily the big ticket item pieces. They're more on this smaller item piece category, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, so first and foremost, we're gonna talk about this little bad boy, which I've been looking for a jewelry box for, I don't even know how long now, like a year and a half at least. And I wanted one that was very aesthetically pleasing, that was simple, and like also gave like a very luxurious vibe. This one in particular is from CB2. It has a, you know, nice lid that goes on top of it. And I love that it's just like this really pretty box that works both as a accent piece to style my bedroom and then also it stores my jewelry. So I really, really love this. It's very heavy. It's made out of ceramic and it has a really nice insert inside as well where you can keep your rings, your earrings. You can even store necklaces inside of here. And I really, really love this. I just thought it was so beautiful. If you watched my video last year that I believe was like my top gift ideas for the year. I talked about Vitruvi last year and I'm going to talk about them again this year because I acquired another new piece from the brand and this is this really gorgeous very aesthetically pleasing humidifier. Again, I've mentioned it like 50 times in this video, I feel like. I live in a really, really dry climate. And because it's so dry here, you have to have a, a humidifier in your house or in your bedroom. It just helps with sleeping at night. It keeps your skin more glowy and youthful looking. And this one in particular, is just so so good it has this ultra fine mist it has several settings as well which you can see on the side and my favorite is the sleep setting because i do not like when you have like blue light in your room or like light that's illuminating your room at night i like to sleep in total darkness like i want it to be pitch black and the previous humidifier that i had had this blue light that would light up my entire room and i just i couldn't stand it so anyways this one in particular when you put it on the moon or night setting it turns off all the lights on the humidifier which is so good so if you like to sleep in total darkness as well you gotta pick this one up if you're looking for a humidifier that does not illuminate any light at night i love it so much and i think it is such like an aesthetically pleasing humidifier because most of them are not very attractive and they're not very pretty um, this one the lid just comes off like this and then it has an insert that you just fill with water and then you slide it right back into the container and you put the lid on and then you turn it on. So I love this. I use it every single day. It's definitely a most used item for me and I love the way that it looks in my space. As I mentioned, I made a lot of outdoor purchases this year and one of my favorite purchases that I made is from Article and it's an outdoor table and chair set. The chairs are big booty friendly. The table is aesthetically pleasing and so pretty. I feel like I've also said aesthetically pleasing a ton or it's the vibe in this video, which I'm sorry, but it's just, how I feel about these things because I love them all so much. Um, but I love this table. I think I got it back in May and I included it in one of my vlogs that I did this year. And I've hosted several dinner parties. It's just so nice to sit at. I try to eat lunch or breakfast outside every day during the summer. And it's just been such a amazing piece for my backyard and my outdoor furniture in particular. So I really, really love that article. I think is very well priced as well. And it's such great quality too so if you're looking for an outdoor table or you're looking for big booty friendly chairs you definitely need to check out article <laughs> 
And last but not least on the home front is my new bed that I just purchased from CV2. And this is a bed that I have had on my wish list for over a year. When I saw this bed go live on CV2's website, I knew that I wanted it, but I really did not want to invest the 2,000, 2,400 I think is what it was, dollars on the bed frame just because I was like, ah, oh, it's a little more than what I want to spend. And I wasn't really sure if it was going to work for my space. And then this year when Black Friday came, the bed went on sale for $800. And I was like, I need it. And it just recently got installed and delivered. I absolutely love it in my space. It's so incredibly gorgeous. It gives my whole entire bedroom that luxe hotel vibe that I was going for. And it's such incredible quality. It's so comfortable and I love it. I love it so, so much. And it's probably my favorite home purchase aside from the dishwasher of 2022. <laughs> okay, we've made it to the final home stretch which are books. Like I said, I think I read about 25 books, read and listened to about 25 books this year. Some were amazing. Actually, I really loved most of the books that I read this year, but these are my top three books of 2022. Up first is a book called Just Eat, which is by Barry Astrobrook, and he is a reporter and a journalist. And this is such an interesting read because it's about his accounts of trying to understand health and nutrition as a person who lives in a larger body and struggled with um, several health issues, including high blood pressure and that sort of thing. But it's such an interesting book because it's basically like a fuck diet culture book, but from such a unique perspective, he tries all of these different diets over the course of, I believe like five or six years. And it's his own personal account of how they worked, how they didn't work, how they failed him, how these diets fail people in particular, and and what his recommendations were for finding a solution that would work for him in the long run. I loved it. I thought it was such an interesting read and I loved that it was like an own personal account of all of these different diets um, that he had tried, that he hated, that didn't work for him, that don't work for most people and that diet culture in general is such a toxic thing and that diets don't necessarily work. It also goes into the history of diet culture into the history of when dieting began. And I just found it to be such a fascinating book and an interesting read. And I love nonfiction. And I think that this one definitely was my favorite nonfiction book of the year. And it was super quick and easy read for me. So I loved it. Moving on to Big Summer. If you are looking for a book that is giving you main character energy from a plus size character, this is the book that you need to read. It has love story in it. It's got a murder mystery in it. It is just such a great read. It took me about like 100 pages to really like feel like, oh my God, I'm flipping the pages so quickly. And I, I loved it. I loved the main character in the book. I loved how the whole entire storyline unfolded. And it definitely kept me to on my toes at the very end of the book. And I love how it ended. And I really, really want them to make a, another book, a sequel to this one, because I feel like there's like a second story to this because I want to know how the main character's life continues to unfold. So check out Big Summer if you're looking for some big hot girl main character energy. Last but not least of our top 2022 favorites of the year is this book called Ghosts. This is literally one of the best books I think I have ever read. I could not put it down. It's just so good. It's very much so a modern novel. It's written in today's times. It's based out of the UK and London, which I love the UK. I love London. You know that I talk in British accents all the time and it was just so good. There's a love story in it. There's a coming of age story in it. There's dealing with family illness that's involved in it as well. And just like understanding how relationships work. And I loved it. This says, Ghost is an absolute knockout, wickedly funny, and at turns both cynical and sincere. And that's so true. It's not necessarily the most feel good, happy book, but it's just, it's so relatable to life for me and I loved it. I cannot recommend it enough. I'll probably read it again because it was that good. So check out Ghosts if you're looking for a page turner, relatable, semi-cynical, but so good 
book. All right, everyone, we have reached the conclusion of my 22 favorite pieces and purchases and items of the year. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I am sending you all the best vibes for a beautiful 2023, for you to be able to manifest all of the goals and all of the things that you want to accomplish in the upcoming year. I hope you feel inspired to maybe add a few of these to your own collection or to even read some of the books that I've recommended. I loved 2022. It was such a great year for me and I cannot wait to see what is on the horizon for 2023. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Happy New Year.